Okay, here we go. I got to make this video, uh, and I'm going to try not to be so manic, but this is a video that must be made. Okay. All right. Uh, being lazy when you're on Suboxone. It could be any opioid. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying Suboxone because that's what, that's what, yeah, that's what this is. Um, being lazy and just not having motivation and just kind of, uh, you know, you know how it is. You know, I've talked about isolating yourself on Suboxone, all that crap, okay? But just being lazy on Suboxone. I was. It affected me big time, okay? Uh, uh, you know, you know, here's the thing, too. And, and I was thinking about this. And I was thinking, like, you know, because a lot of us say, like, you know, you start, you stop taking, you know, the energy goes away. We know that. It's just, it sucks. It's it's really, that and sleep, to me, are the worst things getting off Suboxone, by far. I mean, well, not by, whatever. They're just the worst thing, worst Thanks for me. When you're working, you're not sleeping, and you just have no energy. Even if you're getting sleep, you weren't gonna have energy. I mean, it just it, it just wears on you, okay? Well, so we think like you know, people try to be tapering and whatever, and and getting off Suboxone, and they're like, man, I I just had to take some to get my energy today, which is totally understandable because we've all probably done that. I've done it many times, um, but I just you know, it's fake. It, you know, here here's the thing. I guess this is what I want to say. It's it's false. It's a lie. I'm going to tell you why. When we're on Suboxone, okay, we are the same thing chemically every effing day, okay? You're not, we're not living life. We're not living life. We're the same thing every day. You wake up, you go through your day, and that's you not on, you know, on Suboxone maybe. Or, or you know what I mean? Maybe you take a dose later in the day, we'll just say. Or maybe you wake up and you take it right away. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is. Say you wake up. Yeah, we'll just use that. Say you wake up and you take a little bit right in the morning. That is you every day. You're firing the same exact chemicals every single day. That's all it is. It's this illusion because when you're when you're not when you when you dwindle down, it's just sucking the life out of you. It's not actually giving you more energy. It really isn't. I mean, yeah, from that lethargic state, but hell, anything would. It's I mean, it's so lethargic, right? Um so that, that, that is a, you know, so it is, it's an illusion. I'm telling you right now. And, and, and yeah, the motivation stuff, the depression stuff. And when you're depressed, I was depressed on it, dude. I was depressed. I was lazy. If you're a guy, it screws with your testosterone. We know that you don't want to have it's a sex. I think my daughter's right in there, but you don't, yeah, she, but, but you know, the sex drive, dude, it screws with your testosterone. Dude, if you're taking a lot of methadone, by the way, if you're taking a lot of methadone, you can actually, a guy can start to lactate. Is that what it is? I don't know. Yeah. Where, where you actually, and your, and your tits will hurt real bad. It actually, my tits started hurting really bad when I was taking a lot of methadone. But guess what? It wasn't just me. Happened to my dad. Happened to my dealer. I, I had no idea. Uh, dude, methadone. Ugh. Uh, oh, man. I was going to tell you something else about methadone right now, but I'm not going to. Right now in this video. Um... But uh, so, so right, it's screwing with our hormones. It's, it's doing, doing all that crap. So it's sucking the life out of us. Okay. No motivation, depression, ener not energy, really, you know, lack of motivation. Da, da, da. You're, we're, it's just, it's the same damn thing every single day. Okay. And that's something I've really, I got tricked. I got tricked. It's something I've really realized since getting off of that crap and being off of it as long as I have now is, and I mean, I know we know this, but it's just so true. Like, dude, we, you're just not living life. You're not experiencing the ups and downs of life, you know, of, of feeling just different, different days. I mean, yes, there are things that come up in life happens, even when you're on Suboxone and yeah, you'll cry because someone died or whatever. I'm not just using that, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, but it's just the same crap every day. It's just every day hitting on the same chemicals, taking the same medication, da, 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 da. And it just becomes, uh, you kind of become, I did, I became like a, not a zombie, but kind of, I mean, it was just like this pro, yeah, like this programmed human being. I'm programmed by uh, the tyrant of Suboxone. You know what I mean? Uh, and, uh, you know, and this is, I, this is what I'm going to leave with. I guess this isn't going to be very long. Um, but this is what I'm going to leave with, okay? Because when you get off of it, yes, the energy stuff sucks, really really sucks big time but i'm telling you right now yes you will absolutely get your energy back no no doubt no doubt do not doubt it it just takes time do don't doubt it it's true you get it back you get it back not only that you're gonna have more energy 
Okay, you're gonna have more motivation. You're gonna have more of a go get them. You're gonna you're gonna be more creative. You're gonna. I mean, you are. I am. I mean, uh, you know, maybe, but, but whatever, whatever it is, you're like, you're gonna be better. You're gonna be able to conquer the world. I always say that. Okay, you put in the time and you do it. You're you're gonna be able to conquer the world, dude. Seriously, your world. You know what I mean? Like, uh, and and you're gonna have more energy and more motivation and more drive than you even know, dude. Uh, I'm telling you that right now. Don't be tricked, okay? They do not give you energy. They suck the energy from you and give you a little bit. It's like being dependent on the government or something. I mean, seriously, just here you go, here you go, here you go. That's all it is. It's a tyrant. It's a freaking tyrant, okay? Um, and uh, and that's what it is. That's what it is, okay? Don't forget the lie of that crap, okay? And be encouraged. You're going to get your energy back. And if you are on Suboxone and you're frustrated, hey, be encouraged that like, hey, I, you know what? I don't have to be like this forever. I don't have to stay on this. I haven't ruined, I haven't ruined myself. You know what I mean? I can go, I can go take my life back. Real quick too. I hope people stuck around. Got, I got, I got to give a shout out to this, this person right now. Okay. Cindy freaking Moore, baby. I, I don't think her middle name is really freaking. It might be. I guess I don't really technically know. Sorry. Cindy Moore. Check this out, dude. Six weeks off Subutex, okay? She jumped off of 24 freaking milligrams, destroyed her script. I mean, I, I talked I, I talk to her on the phone and she's asking me what to do if she really wants. I'm like, well, you got to flush it. I mean, if that's what you want to do. I didn't know she was jumping off of 24 milligrams. I, I didn't when I told her that. But uh, she was really struggling. I talked to her on the phone again a, a few days later and she was really struggling. I'm like, well, what'd you jump off of 24? I'm like, oh God. I'm like, okay, Cindy. I'm like, that's a lot. That is a lot. And she was like, oh crap. But dude, she's doing it. She's six freaking weeks off of the crap, okay? That's that's a miracle, dude. And she's 60 years old. 60 years old, jumped off at 24 milligrams, six, week, six weeks off Subutex. I text her today. She's got a great attitude. How about, she's struggling. She's fighting. She's battling. She's scratching and crawling. Crawling, scratching for whatever. Yeah, scratching, whatever. She's battling. She's got, she's got a good attitude. She's like, I'm never taking that crap ever again, okay? It might be tough, but uh, but she's been she's doing the right thing, and, it, and dude, Cindy, you're freaking awesome, dude. I only know I only know one other person that has jumped off of that high of a dose, and like this guy though, you know, he went. Uh, uh, I, I guess I shouldn't speak too soon. I was talking to him a lot though. This is why it concerns me. I was talking to him every single day. And he went uh, a couple months, jumped off 24 milligrams, went a couple months, and I've just never heard back from him again. Uh, I, I was, he was, he worked the whole time too. That, that's what I really, man, I told him, I said, dude, you've come that far. I mean, like if you could bust through that for a couple months, like I, I was saying like, there's no way you're not going to, you know, go down the path. But right there shows us it is endurance. That is what is going to try to strangle you. It's the endurance, it's the long haul, but it's worth it, okay? You're gonna get everything back and way more. Way more, okay? Way more. God bless all y'all. Be for victory and salute.